Hey everyone, so I recently got a comment on how to complete this effect. It's these sort of futuristic doors. It's actually fairly simple. I myself was having trouble with it for the longest time, but after I figured it out and watched that clip over and over again a few times, I kind of figured it out. So we're going to open Element 3D on a new black solid. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. And this is just a street scene that I had there from, it's just a stock image. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go into motion design because he was using motion design elements. So what he did was he got one of these things, created a file for it, put the beam in the file, and then created group symmetry. So what this does is it allows me to go down to the beam and there's two beams now, but it's one beam. It just like, so it makes it symmetrical across the Z axis is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is just have these right here. I'm just going to leave them right here for now. I want to connect them in the center. And I'm going to add a box layer. And what I'm going to do with this box layer is take out the chamfer segments. To, I mean, the how much I'm adding the chamfer. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to bring it down a bit down and then just bring it down level to where these things are. And then going to lengthen it a bit. That looks pretty good. I don't want my box to be too deep because I can create complications later on. So what I'm going to do with this is with the boxes, select invert normals. And I'll add like a ground texture to this. I don't want to get too complicated into this. I just want to show you the general process. Okay, so I accidentally put the box into the group symmetry folder. I'm just going to go ahead and take that out. Uh, I'm going to add a plane model and actually put it into that group symmetry folder. I'm going to turn the box model off for now because they're the same texture and it's kind of hard to tell where the plane is. So I'm going to bring this out and then connect it to where it reaches where this section is, where the beam is. I'm going to place it just slightly above the beams. And again, because it's in the group symmetry folder, it is creating a duplicate on the other side. And now I will lengthen the plane to cover. I can tell it's a little bit below the beams, so I'm just going to raise it up slightly again. Okay, super simple, super simple. And I'm just going to leave those as they are. Turn on that box model again. So I'm just going to create another folder and add a plane to it. I'm going to move the plane to this side to where it covers the empty room the plane covers right here. And I'm just going to make sure their height is the same so there's no awkward overlapping. Okay, after I'm done with that, I'm just going to lengthen it. Wrong way. I'm going to lengthen it. Perfect. And up in group folder, I'm just going to turn on group symmetry once again. Perfect. So now with these, I'm going to go to the materials, scroll down to matte shadow and just select that. I'm going to go to the other group folder with the other plane and turn on mesh. Actually, I'm not going to do that quite yet because I want to adjust it in my scene first. So I'm going to go to group one inside of After Effects, add a group null, bring it down a little bit, and then scale it up. So now it looks pretty well adjusted as is. So I'm just going to go back into my scene, go to the materials, and then turn this to be matte shadow as well. Oh, I forgot to do this one little thing. So I'm going to go to the plane model and select channel one for the auxiliary animation and go to the beam and select channel one for auxiliary animation. Make sure these are all in the same folder, all in the same group folder on layer one. So back in After Effects, I'm going to go to auxiliary channels on group one, go to channel one and just move the position. And as we can see, it opens up similar to how it did in the uh, video call pilot video. So to add adjustments to just make this look a little bit better, I'm going to turn off the beam and I'm just going to, actually I'm going to just move the plane like this. And I'm just going to do something really weird and move them all, in all the way. So it kind of opens up like this. So this is the main process on how he created that video. Obviously it got a little bit more complicated, but once you know how the process works, it's super simple. Like you could add lights, color correction, ambient occlusion, but I'm not going to get too detailed into that. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.